<laughs> G'day, Mepo5 here. How are you going? I just thought I'd buzz in and just show you a couple of new additions that I've got for the cast family. Got a couple of pots here, this one here, and this little one here, the 6-inch, and I think that's about an 8-inch or a 10-inch. Unfortunately, they didn't come with a handle, but that's all right. They'd give me some bargaining power, so pick them up for a good price. And on my way out of the store, I saw this in a box. Check this out. This is the... Uh, latest in the fondue pot set series so this gives me three fondue pots but this one very unusual it's got the base on the bottom and it's got this um fancy um work on the lid there so three fondue pots and a couple of little saucepans now one of my other fry pans here six inch fry pan same sort of design in the um handle on the side so this handle here fits both these pots perfectly as in thread size and all that so i'll duplicate a couple of handles turn them up and um get some handles on my new pots here but anyway today what we're doing today is we're off to the coast so we've got a two and a half hour trip roughly in the car we'll take the missus car and i'm going up to buy my first gate marked pot so those of you in the cast iron industry or collectors and anything like that you know what a gate mark pot means so she was made in the 1800s folks so let's go eh let's go <laughs> all righty we're just waiting for the missus we'll be taking her car and i'll be driving so don't judge me by what i drive it's quicker and it's um well it's not quicker than me rodeo but it's um, certainly cheaper to run so let's be on our way eh let's go and see check out this gate marked uh pot Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, there we go, 8.34, check the K's out. Yeah, Udu Gurus, love them. Alrighty, well here we go, we're off and they're running. It's about a two hour drive, so we might stop on the way, show you all some sights, but come along, let's go. <laughs> We've just stopped at McDonald's, we're about, I don't know, part way up the coast. So we're just stopping for a coffee, bit of a, um, a rest break and something to munch on. Alrighty, we're on our way. Oh, thanks honey. <laughs> Turn right onto Steve Irwin way towards Brisbane. Oh, what are you doing? In 14 kilometres, turn right onto Roy's Road towards Golf Course. Okay, we're stop, honey. Alright, we're just going to check out this on the way, eh? Why not? So we're back on track. We've just done a bit of visiting, a bit of sightseeing on the way up. So now we're back on the um, on the route up to get the gate marked pot. Alrighty. A lot of pine trees up here. A lot of pine forests. Which is a nice little drive up the top end of Australia. Alrighty. We'll get this in the back of the car. Just move all this paraphernalia. <laughs> We've got the pot. 
Yeah, so there it is, eh? Now, I always do a bit of research on any piece of cast iron that I purchase prior to purchasing just to get a bit of history on it. So this one here is, um, is Archibald Kenrick and Sons, and it's a um, cast iron enamel pot, and it's my first gated pot. I don't know whether you can see that there, but it's got the gate mark there. Now, this is a bottom gated English made cooking pot made by Archibald Kenrick and Sons of Rest of West Bromwich, Staffordshire, a seventh generation foundry that is still in business today. They made hollowware between 1840 and 1930, but they stopped gate marking like this before 1900. So this is a number 10 and it's 12 pints. Now in 1846, Thomas Kendrick by the same name and town put in a patent for enamelling certain cast iron pots. So, so, but I'm not going to use this because there, as you can see there, there's a piece of lead stuck in the bottom. Now it's still, it still tings and it's still sealed, but yeah, I will not cook in it. This will just be a gate marked display piece. So it had the rolled edges there. That's all cast iron there. So, but for 20 bucks, I'm very happy with that. Even this handle, I've seen these before where these rivets have been um, broken off or that's not even on there. It's just the two pins coming out the side. So yes, my first gate marked pot. Very, very happy. Now, uh, just a little bit of interesting um, information on Archibald Kenrick and Sons. Last year, May 2017, um, they celebrated 230 year history of, um, they had a, uh, where are we? I'll put the link for the 230 year celebration um, in the description below but basically um, Archibald Kendrick bought his first store and entered his first partnership in 1787 so anyone who's interested and that's a good read I'll put that in the description below all right well let's make our way back like I said we're going to stop off at the Edamuga pub for lunch and um, yes my first gate marked piece of cast iron a 12 pint it's actually 12 inches across the top I'll put some photos in it when I get home I'll do some photos and all that put it at the end um but yeah very happy <laughs> all right <laughs> all righty she was plugged up in the bottom of the um plugged up in the bottom of the pot but 173 year old pot um yeah full on well worth it. I give the lady the, the 20 bucks, so she's good to go. So there you go, my first gate marked piece of cast iron. But yeah, very, very excited, very excited. All right, journey trip home. We'll see what we see on the way home. Well worth the trip, but hey, well worth the trip. All righty, we've just stopped at the Edamuga. Edamuga, so we're off, off our way. We're gonna have a bit of vittles for lunch, and um, this is what she looks like. Yeah, no, we're good to go. The old Edamuga, you might have to come down. The guys come down. There you go, I'll come down. Look at what you're doing. You good? Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah. You're smiling? Yeah. <laughs> Upstairs, eh? Upstairs? Alrighty, well here we are. We just got our lunch. I've got the barramundi. And the missus got vegetarian nachos. Now we just found out that it's no longer called the Edamuga Pub. It's just called the Pub at Aussie World. Bit of a name change. Politics really. But anyway, she's still a good meal. Alrighty.
there it's definitely in the um, transition period of changing so the whole shape the whole shape's going to change but um yeah anyway things change that's what happens so no longer will it have that classic Edamuga shape Apparently they're not allowed to have anything to do with the Edamuga anymore. No cartoons, foot rock flats, no nothing. So she's going tropic. She's going tropo. So Alright, we're on our way home now. We'll probably stop. Um, have a bit of a Devonshire tea on the way home, eh? <laughs> There's the missus. Hello. Uh, hello. Oh look at it. Oh no. <laughs> Well, we've come to the end of the day. It's been a great journey. Thanks for joining us. And um, don't forget to subscribe and tell your mates, eh? Ha, ha, ha. Me first gate mark pot. Roger D.